What's up NXT? Welcome back to our lunch break devotionals. My name is Joselli and I am so excited to be able to stay connected with you guys through this way. I miss you so so much. I cannot wait for the day we get to be united. I get to worship with y'all, see y'all, get to hang out. Um, it's going to be such an amazing time uh, but for now we're staying connected uh, through our social media, through our lives, through all of that good stuff. Um, so we are going to be doing day two of our brand new devotional series uh, titled Jesus Over Everything, Notes for the Next Generation of Planet Shakers, which is you guys. You can find that on the YouVersion Bible app. You can download it on a phone, on a tablet. Y'all can even do it on your computer. Um, and yeah, so today we're going to be talking about um, lordship. We're talking about how we belong to Jesus, um, the act that he did for us, um, the relationship that we can choose to have with the Father, thanks to this act that he did. Um, while I was reading this devotional, I was just so blown away um, by the love that God has for us and how even when we don't choose him, he continuously chooses us. Um, it says here that when Jesus died on the cross for us, it wasn't just a demonstration of his love, but it was actually a transaction um, for us. He was buying back our freedom. Um, he was giving us the opportunity to choose to have a relationship with him, with the Father, um, and to leave behind our earthly desires, to leave behind what the flesh wants and craves. But instead, we can have a relationship with him so we don't have to live in sin or in pain or struggles, but instead we can be happy, we can be united with the Father because of what he did for us. It says here in 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 19 through 20, how you do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. You are worth so so much and if the god of the universe who created everything created you and i created the grass the skies the heavens he sent his son to die for you and for me for all of us so we can have that relationship with him and it just it fills my heart to know that i have a father who cares for me this much who loves me this much um and not only did he do that but he also still giving me the choice he is still giving me the choice to have that relationship with him, to choose to let him be in control. Because oftentimes um, we're just so caught up in who we are, what we want, um, what is going on around us, how we can control all these situations um, <clears throat> instead of just leaving that up to him. And it's just so crazy how he is always in control. Everything that he does, he plans it for our good. Even though we don't see it that way, sometimes we are angry because a relationship didn't work out, a friendship didn't work out. We're angry because we didn't get into the school that we wanted to. We didn't get the role we auditioned for. We didn't get to play in a game. Um, we get so caught up in those little things that don't seem so little to us, but God is continuously working out these things for us. And um, thanks to that act, thanks to him dying on the cross for us, we gave ourselves up. We're no longer living for us, but we were living for him who lives through us. And I think that is just such a powerful statement, such a powerful reminder, because um, that relationship is valued so much. It is such an important decision that we make every single day. And we choose to make that decision every day. It's not just a one and done thing, but it's something that we wake up and we choose to live for him the same way that he chose to die for us. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys that encouragement today um, and remind you that um, you are worth so much, that you are so valuable, that God chose you, God chose me. And um, even in these times of uncertainty, he is still moving, he's still working, he's still in control. Even though we may feel like everything is lost and everything is confusing, he is still working. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you'll continue to join us in our devotionals. And um, I'm sending you guys my love. And I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.